NFL Week 16 Preview. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six wonderful sports books down there. You can check them all out over at tunicatravel.com. they got more information on everything. Uh, you can follow them on Twitter, at Tunica Mississippi, so, or at Tunica MS. Um, you can follow us. You can check us out over at winningcureseverything.com. Everything you need to know about us, uh, our social media profiles, uh, on Twitter, at Winning Cures, on Facebook, uh, Winning Cures Everything, easy enough to find. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, help us out, leave some comments below what you think about the previews, all that wonderful things. Chris, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Game of the week that I have listed. Steelers at the Saints. Saints minus five and a half. The Steelers really still kind of need this one. Oh, the Steelers need it, and the Saints have nothing to play for in this game. They So the, it, the Saints, if they win this one, they wrap up home field. Yes. But they can but it's still also, wrap up home field next week that, against the uh, And the that's, a, that's a divisional opponent you want to beat. If you told me I had to rest players on one of these two weeks. I'd do it this week. I'm re- I don't know that they're going to do that. But I if wouldn't. I was going to, I would rest this week. I'd play next week because you get a bye week after that, and, and you, you don't want resting you know, too many weeks in a row. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, Saints minus five and a half in this one. It's Sunday, 325 p.m. on CBS. Um, I didn't write down point totals for any of these. That's fine. <laughs> we haven't really been betting over unders. No, we really hadn't. Uh, how do you feel about this? I, Take a side. I, I'm wondering if the Saints play. I'm excited. If they rest, guys, I'm 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 not into it at all. Um, if I, if they play and they try to win the game, I like the Saints. The uh, the Steelers running back that who's who's the rookie, the fifth round Samuels? rookie, Samuels. Samuels. Okay. Holy cow. That kid was unbelievable. Nah, nah. I, I thought nah. he was great. He was a workhorse for them. The, the, um, the Patriots can't stop anybody with lateral speed whatsoever. He, If you've got any lateral speed at all, you're going to run on the pats, and you're going to run for miles. You're going to get 150 yards on them. I think that, that Samuels in this spot can can do a lot of the same stuff. Saints have played really well against the run. Um, oh, yeah. No, they're, I'm, they're fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm I'll be interested to see how they play against the defense that'll scheme for them and, and try to attack to stop it. Uh, the, the Patriots can't stop the run against anybody. Running on the Pats doesn't tell me anything. Okay, okay. So that does, Not that the kid's a bum, but you, you did it against a hapless opponent. Okay, okay. Uh, how do you feel about this? Tell me, tell me your thoughts. I mean, if the Saints play everybody, I I like the let's, Saints. Let's just think, assume that the Saints are going I, to play everybody. I will tell everybody. you this. I think I think the Saints' offense will get healthy against the the. I think they'll get healthy against the Steelers. Okay. I think the Steelers' defense is not good. I think they capitalized on some penalties, regardless of what you think of them, um, against the Patriots, and I think they also. Uh, Capitalized on the Pats just dropping footballs right and left. Yeah, just the, poor, Sa- poor the Saints execution. aren't going to do that. No, no, the they, Saints they're are just not. Alvin Kamara will feast. I think this is a game where the big boys will get theirs. I think Breeze will have a hell of a day. I think Alvin can have a hell of a day. I think Ingram. I think run. Ingram can yeah. run on them, and I think Michael Thomas will explode all over this defense. Okay, so I mean, if, I just I just believe this is where the Saints say, you know what, we're getting back to scoring thirty forty a game. Okay. This okay. this scoring twelve a game and still winning is is bull. Yeah, that that now, would. Now yeah. I could be wrong, but I think the Saints are gonna figure this thing offensively out, and the Steelers' defense haven't scared anybody. No, I think you're probably right on that. Uh, so you, if if you had to lean one way, you'd probably go Saints minus five and a half. I'd go Saints, but I'd want to wait till real close to game time to, to see, see if who's playing. Any reports on them sending people out? Uh, game number two: Ravens at the Chargers. Chargers minus four and a half. This is Saturday night, 7.20 p.m., NFL Network. Uh, no home field advantage here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but but it hasn't been all year. Uh, Chargers coming off of a huge win. But it's not in Baltimore either, where Baltimore plays outstanding. That's that's true. That's true. The Ravens have to go all the way across the country uh, on a short week. Like, And it's not a Thursday night game, but it's but still Saturday it's still, night. It's still a little short. Still a little bit short. Uh, it's NFL Network game. Chargers coming off of a massive win. Ravens need this to kind of stay in the playoff hunt. This will be Lamar Jackson's greatest test. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because he's, he's been feasting on bad teams. Bosom and Ingram, they can tackle. Uh, they yeah. can wrap up and they can get after the quarterback. And and this is where we're going to see. I do wonder if, if we're going to see. run on those guys? Uh, th- well, that's what I'm going to see. Are they going to, are teams going to start scheming? And like, this is a team that is good enough to actually make him stay in the pocket. Like, not, yeah. not chase after him. Like well, they're trying gonna, to get no, sacks. And they I think that they will do they're that. They're going to chase after him. The difference is those two edge rushers, they can catch him. Yeah. So I'm I'm curious if they will do something to try and keep him in the pocket as opposed to allowing him to get out. I think they're going to go after him. And I think they're going to let their cornerbacks play man-to-man. I think they're going to blitz. Yeah. Because I think they got the secondary to do it. Now, the Ravens' defense going to be one of the better defenses that the Chargers have played. The Chargers... Don't know if Melvin's going to be back. Don't know what's going on with Keenan Allen. We're recording this pretty early in the week. We do it on Tuesdays. Um, you know, neat. Which, by the way, next week, not doing one on Christmas, I don't well, think. No, no. Um, we just and I'll be out of town the rest of the week, so we're going to have to Skype it. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. We'll, we'll figure that out as we go. But, uh, yeah, this is... I'm I'm very interested. This this to me is the best matchup of the of the weekend. Yeah, both these teams need this game. The Ravens are trying to fight to play to, to get a playoff spot. Chargers trying to fight for that number one seed, so they don't have to go on the road. If the, the Ravens win and the Steelers lose, I think the Ravens take control of the division. Ravens are eight and seven. Got it right. No, no, no. They're uh, they're eight and six right now. And Baltimore the, eight and six. Pittsburgh. Eight five and one. So if Pittsburgh loses, they would be eight six and one, and Ravens would if be they nine can and win. Six. They'd be nine and six. So yeah, the Ravens would be up uh, by like a percent. Half a point. game. Half a game. Whew. Yeah, that's that's big. Then the Ravens have the Browns to finish it, and the Steelers have the Bengals. Bengals. Oh golly, I think that's okay. right. It might be tough to take it from the Bengals. Yeah, yeah. You I mean, from, uh, the, from the Steelers. Yeah, because the Steelers would end up what nine six and one in the well. No, the, see if the Ravens win this and then the Ravens beat the Browns. Oh, that'd they'd end up 10. ten and six. That's so right. like Ravens. Would, so either way, huge game for the Ravens here. No, it's a big game for Ravens and it's a big game for the Chiefs because they're trying to stay with the Chargers. The uh, Chargers because they're trying to stay with the Chiefs and uh, and maybe get that number one seed. This line look a little high to you, four and a half. It's in my gambling picks. Okay. We're going to stay off of that one then. Let's move game number three. The Chiefs minus two and a half at the Seahawks. Sunday, 7.20 p.m. on NBC. I was a little surprised that they were favored by two and a half here. I, I figured this three. would be... Let's move to three? Let's move to three as of this evening. There's a, so I've, I've already heard a lot of handicappers saying that they think the Chiefs are going to go in there and, and handle this one. And I am not so certain. They might. I mean, they, I if know. the Seahawks play the same way that they did at San Francisco last week, then yeah. But... This is the Chiefs going into if the Seahawks go in and they play the way they did the week before at home. Yeah, then no, there's not many people going into Seattle and winning that game. No, I mean that's just true. I mean this is a, this is a fun Sunday night game. Yeah, it, with high stakes. I I like this game. I do think this is going to be the Seahawks can't keep losing games. Like you, they they you have, they got to win to get in the playoffs. You, you couldn't be more different in the style of coaching from Andy Reid to Pete Carroll. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, it, it, they're going to be way different in how they approach things, but I'm really interested in that matchup. It's, these teams are – so the Seahawks are defense, run the ball. But I don't even know that they're – yeah, they have been running the ball. Oh, lot, yeah. But, I, I mean, mean they're they, number one in the NFL. Russell Wilson, he's been rocket fire last couple weeks too. It's it's going to be interesting, but it's a totally different. All it's a pro style offense. Yes, it's it's. And 100%. the Chiefs are running Oklahoma's offense, Texas yeah, Tech. Pretty, I mean, they're, they're they are as college gimmicky as you can do, but man, they're, they're averaging thirty five points a game. So stop them. So yeah, can the Seahawks actually stop them? Can they keep up with them? Yeah, it, I'm. I like this game too. I like both of these games better, than I think I like the the Saints. Um, yeah, these Steelers these games. primetime spots. I mean, at the Saturday night, Sunday afternoon, and Sunday night games are about as good as it gets. Yep. I mean, the, the there's NFL a lot on the has line. Been great this year. Yeah, it's it's been fantastic. The ratings are way up. Guess what? It's because the product is really really good. Uh, you like the Chiefs here? 
Is this in your game of picks? This is in my game of picks. All right, we're going to stay off of it then. Let's uh, let's roll on. Texans at the Eagles. Eagles minus one and a half at home. Sunday, 12 p.m. CBS. Uh, last week, when Carson Wentz went down, if this game had been scheduled at that point, this line would have been Texans minus four. Yeah. On the road, Texas, more than a field goal favorite. Yeah. Uh, Texans... Hadn't been great here lately. I mean, they, I mean, they hadn't been great all Since, year. Well, no, they have been. But when after they spanked the Browns, they've still gotten some wins, but the, the, a win, but they haven't looked good doing it. And no. then they lost last week. Well, no, they they beat no, they won last week. They beat the Jets. Then they lost. Yeah, that's it. They looked bad. With, they lost the week before. Yeah, that was it. Um, they hadn't looked great two weeks in a row after beating the hell out of the Browns. They looked unbelievable, and then they looked mediocre. Uh, coming out one and one. And then and then didn't look great against the Jets. No. 29-22 was the win. This is not in my gambling picks, so let me just say this here. I'm not betting against Nick Foles at, the rest of my life. <laughs> I lost more uh, money on him in last year's end of the season and playoff run than I may have ever lost on betting on a single player in my entire life. Did it again Monday or Sunday night. Yeah. And it's the only blemish on my 4-1 and one record. I was so pissed off. And let me tell you, come game time, before it kicked off, my first thought was, is I'm going to miss this one. Nick, yep. Fo- Nick Foles going to get me again. Oh, yeah, and he did. I didn't think they were going to win, but I thought 11 was too much. <laughs> At 30-13, I'm curious what your uh, what your thoughts were. <laughs> well, no, I, I know. I thought this is the Nick Foles that I yep. was totally foreseen about an hour ago. I just didn't see it a week ago. And – I'm telling you that that nothing will surprise me if they went out, they finish eight and eight, and they somehow can find a wild card spot. I, I I don't know what it would take for me to put Super Bowl money on them, but I'm probably going to put Super Bowl money on them. I think I saw that they the, need a lot to get into the playoffs. I think I don't think it's a lot. You don't? I think no. I think they need the Vikings to lose like one. Oh game. no! If they won out, they would be nine and seven, not eight and eight. Yeah, because they're they're seven and seven right now. I think if the uh, if the Vikings lose, then they're in. Yep, because the tie helps the Vikings because the Vikings yeah. would be. Nine, but they, but they six still need the one. Vikings to lose. That's it. And the Vikings play the Bears the last game of the season. But the Bears won't have anything to play for. But the Bears won't have anything to play for, other than just hating the Vikings. And they they might do that just so that they don't have to play the Vikings again the next week. So, man, I really want. Really want them to get, or Seattle just collapse. And if the Chiefs beat Seattle, and then I don't know who they play the last week of the season. I got the schedule right here. Well, if you got the schedule, let's let's. Oh hear no, it. they play Arizona. Okay, then, then at, we don't at Seattle. That, yeah. that's, so, that's, so that's the Eagles move. could still possibly get in there. <laughs> we need the Eagles. Um, all, all I need is the golly. Houston football franchises. If I am not mistaken, I think I read this earlier. They are zero and eleven against the Eagles, all time. Holy crap! That's almost impossible to believe. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing, but it and it, it may have been a higher number or whatever. But but they are winless. They're they're over. They're goose egged. Yeah, zero. I'm telling you, I'm just I've made like, up my between mind. The Oilers and the Texans. It's, it's, like it's not in my gambling picks. I'm saying it here. I'm not betting against Nick Foles the rest of my life. I'm just <laughs> not going to do it. I'm not. I, I I gave that man too much money, and I did it. Sunday night, and I did it a week ago, and then Sunday I watched football, and as as the NBC pregame show was starting, my first thought was, "Is oh no, I think I'm going to buy that bet back. I here, think I'm going to, I think again. I'm just going to go bet the same amount and give them the vig and just just get out of this game." I didn't do that; I lost it, but it, it, I want it to. Yeah, I th- you probably should have. I think Nick Foles has is done. Some He's got kind some of, kind of karma, some kind of voodoo. I don't know what it is. Uh, game number five, Redskins at the Titans, Saturday, 3.30 p.m. on NFL Network. Uh, Titans minus 10.5 in this game. Josh Johnson, great story last week, but I think it might have just been because the Jags are really that putrid. Uh, I don't know that the Titans are 10.5 points better than the Redskins. I'm not laying 10.5 points to anybody with the Titans because I don't know that that, off- that offense, they could beat people. That offense could go the whole game and not score 11 points. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the point. And the Redskins' defense still decent. If they can decent. stay off the field, decent. 
Yeah, so it all depends on what Josh Johnson does against this Titans defense. And who knows, this this could end up being a fun a fun game because the Redskins still technically not out of the playoff hunt. I'm not watching the Josh Johnson quarterback team. <laughs> you just ain't even gonna watch it. I'm just not I'm not I'm not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give interest to that. I like the Titans. <laughs> There's listen, a Titans team that plays ugly football playing against this Redskins team. I'm not. I'm. I'm just. I got zero interest this, in that. This game has thirteen to six written all over it. Like it's, it's going to be nasty. It's going to be gross. It's yeah. If the over under was twenty three, I think I would take the under. I could. Uh, I could believe that. I could believe that. All right. Honorable mention games. Let's roll through these pretty quick. Bears minus four at the 49ers. Sunday three oh five p.m. on Fox. Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins. Don't get hurt. That's it. Yeah, just don't get hurt. <laughs> don't get hurt. And so I, just protect I, Bears, yourself. Bears still franchise. have something to play for. Yes, like they uh they will they will play in this one. I don't know that they're going to have a whole lot to play for against Minnesota. If if they're playing for like home field, could be a different ball game against the Vikings. Um, they're still playing but, for a bye week though, right? You got them, the well, Rams. I mean, they don't have the bye week locked up from the Rams. No. Oh, you know what? If the Rams lose another game. Well, yeah, they will then because, because they've then got the, the Bears have got the tiebreaker. But but they don't have it locked up. I mean, that means the Bears have to keep winning. Yeah, and they need the Rams to lose what one more game? Yes, the Bears have ten. The Rams have eleven wins. So, so yeah, the Bears they would, have the 49ers, they would need to uh, win out, and who, they would need the Rams to lose another game. Who the Rams have Arizona this week, and then Philly. No, that was last. No, game. that was last week. Where the hell did the schedule go? Sorry. Oh, they've got Arizona and San Francisco. Oh gosh, it's going to be a little, little tough for them to take the bye. Man, that sucks. I'm going to let the Bears have a bye week. I mean, it's hey, it's still feasible. Like 49ers, like they just beat the Seahawks. So, we'll man, see. the Bears are going to end up playing Nick Foles in the Week <laughs> One Wild Card game. That's not who well, that'd you want. That'd be awful. That'd be awful. Uh, the Giants at the Colts. Colts minus nine and a half. Still important game for the Colts too. Uh, Colts are eight and six. I mean, they're looking to try and get the AFC. Playoff picture is bananas we, right now. We thought the NFC was going to be the cream of the crop. Yeah, it's not even close. Before that, no, it's just not. They're no. just not. The AFC has been far better yeah. than the NFC overall. And uh, and yeah, the the Titans Colts game going to be Week 17. That's I want that game to matter. And it, it, if the Titans and the Colts both win this week, uh, then and they're that both be, heavily favored. I mean, they're both yeah. almost double digit favorites. That will be flexed to the Sunday night game, Should be, yes. more than likely. Uh, but yeah, Colts Giants. That's twelve o'clock on CBS. Uh, last but not least, the Monday night football game: Broncos minus two and a half at the Raiders, seven fifteen p.m. on ESPN. It's on Christmas Eve, so you got something to watch while you're wrapping gifts and all that wonderful stuff, or sitting around drinking cocoa with the family, apple cider. With a little dash of cinnamon schnapps, you know all that wonderful stuff. Um, or like me, whiskey with your eggnog. Um, how you feel about this one? What do you think? Broncos still have anything left to, to play for? Or? No, it, I mean they for, they, they playing for Vance Joseph's job. My, that's it. So my which, all right. That if do, do the as, players as like much, him as much as I dislike the Raiders, I like the Broncos. I like that franchise and what they need is they need to play to win. They need to try and win the best they can, and they need to lose. They need to lose while trying to win because then you've got justification to say, Keenum, get the hell out. Vance, get the hell out. <laughs> that's, that's what you need. Now, if you're tanking, then those guys both have an excuse and then you roll it back next year, and you got the same problems. But if you're actually trying to win. But if you're actually win, trying to win and fail, which is what exactly happened against the Browns, they were not tanking. They were trying to win, and Baker beat them. That, that, is, that is exactly nail in the coffin of Vance Joseph. Yeah. In case Keenum. Yeah, you're probably like right. You are probably right. All right, that's going to wrap up our NFL Week 16 previews. As always, head over to tunicatravel.com to find more information on all six of their incredible sportsbooks and head over to winningcureseverything.com to find out more information on us.